passionate affair in the mixed doubles. The Malaysian pair of Peng Sun Chan and Yu Yingu, the number three seeds here. And from Chinese Taipei, Chen Hongling and Chen Wen Sing, the vastly more experienced pair. Chen at 26 years of age and Wen Sing Chen, 30 now, who will, will also be appearing in the women's doubles final as well here at Darling Harbour. They're the number two seeds, they're the favourites for the final. And if you needed any proof of just the world-class nature of this event, the Yonex Australian Badminton Open of 2012, it's the world number fives from Chinese Taipei taking on the number eight in the world, the pair from Malaysia. They've both had good runs through. And this pit's really two of the best pairings in the competition for what will be a spectacular game, as always, of mixed doubles. These two have met three times previously. And for the Malaysian pair, they're bringing in some pretty good form as well. Mark here, semi-finalists at the All England earlier this year already. Semi-finalists at Malaysia and quarter-finalists at the Swiss Open. And that's on the back of their career win at the Bitburger Open last year as well. So bringing some form in here. Yes, they've had a, a brilliant year so far. 2011 and 2012 have been really breakout years for the Malaysian pair. Semi-finalists, as you said, in the All England and also Asian Championship winners in 2011. I spoke with their coach earlier and he's really pleased with the, uh, with the way they're, they're coming up and, uh, and challenging the best in the world. For their opponents from Chinese Taipei, as we see there how Chan and Go made it this far. Just that one three-game affair, which came back on Thursday in there third round game Chen Hung Ling there you see that world ranking of number five they're the number two seeds here one of the few players on the world circuit to wear his glasses while he plays yeah it's pretty unusual Robbie it's uh, not something we see every day and uh, there's a bit of a a bit of a rumour around town they refer to him as the Harry Potter of the badminton world due to the obvious resemblance so uh, I'm sure uh, he uh, it doesn't affect the way he plays and, uh, and only uh, enhances his ability there you see the road to the final for the Chinese Taipei pair overcoming the Japanese pair of Hayakawa and Matsutomo in the semi-final Japan actually qualified in the semi-finals of each discipline and missed out on finals day entirely but we've got all the action from the mixed doubles final at the Australian Open coming up in a couple of moments time well Mark what can we expect from this uh, a tactical battle I suppose as always in the mixed doubles yeah it's very strategic a lot of uh, maneuvering uh, your opposition uh, and and often uh, a lot of variation some some all-out attack when you're in that position with uh, with the man at the back with all the power and the lady at the front trying to set up for a for a partner and for the Chinese Taipei pair as well this is their first final appearance of 2012 quarter-final at the Swiss Open which was also a quarter-final for the Malaysian pair other than that last 16 at the All England and the German Open as well Jen? Japan Open winners a year ago back in 2011 so the chair umpire for this opening final on finals day in the mixed doubles is Jürgen Batnagar from Australia and the service judge is Mr. David Turner his compatriots so good to see some Australian presence on finals day as well
Well, and it's all, it's good experience for the uh, the officials as well, um, umpiring in at this sort of level at the the world championship level. So uh, it's fantastic for them. There you see the head to head that I mentioned just earlier. 2-1 in favour of the Chinese Taipei Ladies pair. And gentlemen, the most previous on my right meeting victory Chen for the Hong Malaysians, Lin, their first. Chen Wen Shin, and it came China just Saturday. earlier this year in the Malaysian Open in the round of 32. So a lot more at stake on finals day here. And on my left, As we get Ben's the first Hong of Chen, five finals Yung, underway Lao, at the 2012 Malaysia. Yonex Australian Badminton Open. The mixed doubles between Go and Chan of Malaysia and Chen and Cheng of Chinese Taipei. And it's the Chinese Taipei pair to serve. And a first point. And a simple enough one at that for the Malaysian pair. error there from the Malaysians you can see both pairs just gradually getting into the into the match getting the feel for the shuttle and for the court on finals day and her eyes lit up there didn't they Yu Ying Go was dropped in 2-1 in favor of the Chinese Taipei pair of Chen and Cheng Service error there. From one of the most experienced players at these open as well in Australia. Certainly not a skill to be taken for granted. It's quite a difficult skill under pressure. Good defence. Oh, it's just floated wide. The 30 year old Huen Tsing Chen, who will be in action today in the women's doubles final as well. And again, just missing with the smash, Chen. Another great rally, though. Yeah, that's what you'll see is uh, a lot of long rallies, a lot of strategic play, really managing their position in the court. The Malaysians are doing it well so far. See that was set up by a lot of really soft play around the net, a lot of pushing down to the sidelines, opening up the court, just controlling the shuttle, and then the big smash, too hot to handle. And Chan and Go from Malaysia lead 5-2. They've got that three-point gap early on in the opening game. Oh, good smash through the centre of the court. What you like to see in doubles in the doubles events is, is using all parts of the court, not just the sidelines, but attack to the body and attack more crucially down through the middle of the court. It really does create some confusion there for the opposition as to who's going to take it. Oh, it's good overhead. Chan is so strong in that position and just really well set up by his partner Go. She really does make a lot of the play. 
She's very confident at the front court and reads the play really well. Very, has very good anticipation. Just 22 years of age, go. 23 for her compatriot Chan. In that respect, they're giving away a few years to their Chinese Taipei opponents. Oh, beautiful play. Again, she's just so quick at the net. That racket work there, setting it up for her partner and then finishing it off. It's really good anticipation. Beautiful deception there at the front court. It's really exciting to see the Malaysians have a, 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 a young mixed doubles pair. I think it's the first time that they've reached this level in mixed doubles. Semi-finalist from the All England earlier this year and that's definitely the first time a Malaysian pair has made the semi-finals of such a prestigious event. Exciting prospect for the future. That service foul bringing it back to a three-point game. Brilliant smash from Chen. The whole court was open in the end. It was a good save. Again, back through the centre. The prime position. Perfect placement. It was very difficult to handle that angle. For the moment, the Chinese Taipei pair just unable to string together that run of two or three points to close that gap back up. A good smash there. They put away in Chinese Taipei. It was short and she got it down really steep at the feet of Go. Critical errors, the service errors, really disappointing. That's the third in this game already between the two pairs. Oh, she just pushed it long. Just going for too much to keep the Chinese Taipei, Taipei pair in the backcourt. It's back to a two-point game. 9-7 in favour of Malaysia. 9-8. Just snatching a little bit of that one round the head. It's, it doesn't look that fast, but it's, it's all happening pretty quick there at the net. There's not a lot of reaction time. She's just disappointed with herself. See there with the with the service, she served uh, a flick serve or a high serve there to start the rally. I think she's a bit nervous serving to Chan. He's really creeping up on the front court. There we see that wasn't very that was a long way away. Oh, that's the second from Chen in a row. So is really not being able to get into it. The first technical timeout then with the Malaysian pair. Chan and Go leading by 11 points to 9. Well, it's tight at the moment. You'd say the Malaysians just edging it slightly. They're ahead on the scoreboard, but also it's been out to a four-point lead. They just haven't been able to really finish them off in this first game just yet. Yeah, no, it's, it's been interesting seeing them both sort of seem to settle early in the game and then just tighten up as it got to sort of halfway through that first game there and, and it'll make a few critical errors really early in the point. We used to always say the most, most important shots, you know, your serve, return, and the third shot in the rally that really set everything up, very important to, uh, to build your rally from those first three shots. And, uh, and a couple of loose errors from both pairs within the first three shots of each of the last couple of rallies, so... 
Sydney Harbour, the magnificent waterway around which this city is built, playing host to the 2012 Australian Badminton Open. It really is a wonderful setting for the people of Sydney and for the thousands of tourists that visit each year. And for many of them that have found their way here, a sell-out crowd for the last three days at the Australian Badminton Open. And especially for final day, barely a spare seat in the house. And this really strong overhead chant. Just a poor decision there to push that shuttle back right into his hitting zone. He is ready to take advantage of that. Well, that time we see the serve draw the unforced error from Cheng. It's back out to a four-point game. Two quick points to the Malaysian pair, Chan and Gu. And again, Cheng just finding the net back to back. The mark in the first half of this game. We've seen some nerves on serve. As though it's almost better to be receiving. To go straight onto the front foot is the serve. How do you turn that into your weapon? Well, it, it does become a weapon if you can get the consistency and, and, and it really tied across the top of the tape. So it's a critical component to mix doubles to be able to set up the rally. And, and of course, you wanna, you've always got the serve if you're winning points. So... It's an absolutely critical component of your game. Well left. Great judgment from Chen. And you see the centimetres you're talking about as well, because it wasn't that far long. Yeah, she had about two tenths of a second to make that decision. get away with that it was a poor serve she really does look like she's struggling for confidence it's back to a two-point game though again back-to-back -back points for the Chinese Taipei pair oh, well left. she was unlucky she just pulled it wide she picked up a a very difficult shot earlier in the rally. That one there, great control. And she really just wanted to touch that over the net. Did the hard part. Mm. And not the easier option. Oh. There was another service point backfiring. Yeah, both pairs having their problems on serve. 15. Almost gifting the points back to their opposition. She was lightning quick onto that one. Reading the play very well. It was a good smash, but she, she was straight across there and picked out the body of Ching. You will have noticed as well a very respectful crowd at the Darling Harbour Exhibition and Convention Centre. There is no law saying you can't scream and shout during points when you're watching a badminton tournament. Well, we did get some raucous crowds on semi-final day towards the end, but for the moment... Yeah, we'll look to see them ramp up a little bit in the men's doubles when the Indonesians come out to play. Good smash there. We always say that one of the one of the key points is to put it onto the racket side hip of your opposition, and he picked it out beautifully and just clipped 17, Chen 14. on the way past. That's technically perfect. Seventeen fourteen in favour of Chan and Gu. Again at the net, Gu. They're just winning those little exchanges, the quick exchanges of the very fast rallies, and she's been super at the net. And when the 
chance was there to open up that five point lead. Instead, it comes back to three again. So close to that 19 points. Again, the rapid fire exchange over the net. 16, 18. Oh. And what could have been just about game over at 19 14 is suddenly 16 18 now. And there's a loose error there. It was a very good serve. 17, Sliding across 18. the top of the tape. And Chan just overhitting that one. They need to settle now. 17-18. The first time in the game, three points in a row for the Chinese Taipei pair. One. Make that four, and we're all square at 18 apiece in the opening game of the mixed doubles final at the Australian 18. Badminton oh. Open of 2012. And just warming up. On the smash as well with 250 <laughs> kilometers an hour for that one from Chen Hungling. Oh, what a time to do another service error. He's so disappointed with himself, so he should be giving a free point at 18 all. Just shows the tension that's out there at the moment. Critical winning the first game. Chinese Taipei pair, they've been let off again. 19 all. Chan finding the tape. Just both pairs just tightening up a little bit in this situation, which is understandable. Next point takes you to game point. Oh. <laughs> She's been a little shaky on that serve so far in this first game. And she's just handed the opposition a game point. Although the way they've been serving, it's not a given at the moment no. for Peng Sung Chan. Play. Malaysia serving for this first game. Oh. <laughs> Haven't got there again. All square at 20s. Chan was still not confident enough to serve a short serve. Threw it up and gave the momentum to the opposition. It's just long. So after one game point for Chan and Go, it's game point now for Chen and Cheng from Chinese Taipei. They will have to serve it out, though. do it in some style as well. The pair of Chen Hung Ling and Chen Wen Sing taking the opening game in 17 minutes, 22 to 20. So crucial to take that opening game. They've now got one up their sleeve in the best of three. What will the coach be saying there, Mark, about how they've almost used up their got-out-of-jail-free card already? Mm, yeah, absolutely. No, I think he'd be wanting them to focus more on, on playing a little bit straighter through the... Uh, through some of those net exchanges. There was a lot of cross courts coming early in the rallies from the Chinese Taipei players, which are really putting them, putting themselves out of position 
and they were finding themselves getting caught by uh, the early read by the Malaysians. But um, I'd say he'd be very happy with the, with the way that game turned out, given that they were trailing most of the match. And uh, the Malaysians, on the other hand, would be disappointed. But, you know, it's only one game and this, it's a long match, so they just need to get their composure back and, and focus again on what got them to the opportunity to win the game. Well, we saw it early on. Go in particular, so strong, up close to the net, really dictating play. And then you mentioned it in the commentary, they just started to tighten up, didn't they? And the service from both teams really letting them down there towards the end. But it's the Chinese Taipei pair that managed to get across the line. And that's essentially where you see uh, the tension really comes out in, in that fine motor skill of being able to push the shuttle over on the service. You know, when the rally's happening, everyone's running around, the, the adrenaline's pumping, but you're controlling, controlling the shuttle and, and, and starting the rally. It's a bit like a putting golf. It's the only time you can actually control everything right from the, from the word go, and you've got to get your action right. You've got to get your routine correct. So, uh, you know, any little, little bit of tension in your hands really affects your ability to, uh, to serve well. Finals day in Sydney for the 2012 Yonex Australian Badminton Open. Second game. It's the mixed doubles and it's the Chinese no. Taipei pair. The Play. second seeds at this tournament, ranked fifth in the world. A career best for the pair who have taken out the opening game 22 20. It was a tight tussle between them. Now combatants out on court. One love. And as it was in the first game, it's the Malaysian pair that draw first blood. Great touch there. She took all the pace off that shuttle. And that's one of the key elements of a ladies, ladies playing mixed doubles is the ability to be able to just take the pace off, give the opposition nothing to work with. Go. Not happy with herself there. And that's where Chan will hurt you every day of the week. He's very quick to move forward on that loose serve. And that's probably where we've seen a lot of the, uh, the pressure. She knows it wasn't a good serve. It's fallen in. Great stretch from Chen that time. Again, you can see just how critical the first three shots of every rally are in setting up your opportunities and seeing how well you uh, you can control the rally right from the start. Now we've just got a bit of no flash photography, flash photography coming right behind the Chinese Taipei pair there. Getting in the eyes of Go and Chan from Malaysia. Well, Go just manages to get it back again. And in the, un the unforced error from Chen. He's just a little bit out of position to play that shot. He probably would have been better to just play it back in and, uh, and look for the next one. It's all about economy. Oh, that's a fantastic play there. Just a quick flick of the wrist, and the shuttle's gone past him. No chance to react. Anticipation again at the net from Gork of Malaysia. And as they did in the opening game, they just skipped clear. It's two points at the moment, 5-3. Well, it'll be interesting to see whether uh, Cheng starts to work out that uh, he's being attacked that way. And, you know, the Malaysian pair are setting up for that attack and, and hitting down onto his backhand side, and he hasn't quite come up with a solution. If he could try straight, drag the return cross-court, 
he might get a bit more uh, value out of it. At the moment, the Malaysian's just anticipating where the shovel's going. Just heading across for a little word from their coaching staff in that far corner there, the Chinese Taipei pair. The barrage just keeps coming at the moment. 7-3 in favour of Chan and Gu. Yeah, she just got a bit caught up there, not quite getting herself into the right defensive position. She was just popping it up every time as well for Chan to just have another whack at the shuttle. A really solid play at the net that time. Four, Just very quick and changing the direction each time for the element of surprise. Again, not confident to serve short to Chan. He's really got the ascendancy there every time. He'll be creeping as close to that front line as possible and moving forward just to keep it in the back of her mind and that smash at 235 kilometers an hour not the fastest smash we've seen but the direction was perfect that was better at the net setting the point up from the backcourt and then killing it off at the net through Ching. Drift out to that corner. And it's difficult for the players. Often uh, they struggle to adjust to some of the slight movement in the air from the air conditioning. And when they flick those shuttles flat and fast, it can be difficult to keep them in. Good play there, bringing it back through the centre. Just as it looked as though the Chinese Taipei pair were finding some form. It's the switch up from the Malaysians. requires a lot of patience as well when you're not in good position you just have to take back control he just snatched at it he was a bit nervous pushing it into that back corner there I don't know whether he was worried about what might be coming Just wondering what she needs to do there. Ten, seven. I think she was just disappointed in herself for not keeping the swing a little bit shorter and she swung a little bit too hard at that shuttle and uh, dragged it down into the net. Chinese Taipei pair the trail 8-10 now it was an unusual rally with Ting being stuck on the baseline for a long time she was patient and eventually worked out how to get back to the front court they were desperately trying to keep her there weren't they a nice little roll off the net toward there so the technical timeout in this second game Sees the Malaysian pair leading by 11 points to 8.
Well, this one very evenly poised, Mark. We saw there was a three-point gap at this stage in the opening game as well. And the Chinese Taipei pair, perhaps with that extra experience they have. Cheng, 30 years of age. Chen, 26 against 23 and 22-year-old opposition. Just able to do it when it really counts. Yeah, absolutely. And it was pretty much a carbon copy of the first first game. So it'll be interesting to see how this uh, second half plays out. It'll be nice to see the Malaysians get up and win the game and uh, send it into a third. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Beautiful Sydney, the iconic emblems of Sydney Harbour, the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge, which you can climb up these days and get just about the best view of what is a real jewel in the crown of Asia Pacific, the Harbour City of Sydney. And this week playing host to the Australian Open, the first time in Australia's biggest city. And they're being treated to a great match of mixed doubles at the moment. Just long from Gore. And Mark, this second game, very similar in many respects to the first game as well, with the Malaysians out in front early. Yeah, It'll really be pegged back again. It really has only been a been a, a match of probably two or three point spreads at any given time, so really exciting to see how this plays out. That's what we like to see. It gets the crowd involved. Goes pumped. She really defended for her life there. She was under so much trouble. That was a great pick-up. And then that shot there, amazing. And then the put away. How much did she enjoy that? And what can that do for your confidence as well when you're leading now by three points and looking to go on with it? Well, I think the old heart rate will be pumping pretty fast. And... That'll be fantastic for her confidence, just just to see if she can make the most of it in the next couple of points to get them a, a bit more of a, a break in the second game. that really well it was probably only an inch long at the end there at the back of the court but they were very patient and it's out to a four-point game and mark for someone that's played mixed doubles at the highest level won this tournament twice in this discipline i know when the points are going against you you like to say that you take it one point at a time but when things are going your way, do you feel that rush of confidence? Yeah, you do. But but I, I still think you you know it's all equally as important to, to keep it one point at a time because you don't want to get ahead of yourself. You know what happened before is not going to influence what happens in the next point. So you know it's very important to maintain that focus. You take the positive energy out of it, but but you just want to remain focused on winning the next point. Then winning the next point. In the end, you'll get there. Well, it's the biggest lead of the match so far five points in this second game the Malaysian pair of Chan and Go leading 14-9 but they won't have forgotten just yet leading 18-14 in the opening game having that chance to take it 19-14 instead it closed back to three and it's closed up to four here 10-14 now with Chen on service for Chinese Taipei. She's been solid as a rock around that, around the head position. She's hit probably three or four winners in that exact same position already in this match. <laughs> it's 
straight at the body. Again, the Taipei players just getting a little bit, uh, a little bit caught playing cross, cross, and then eventually the play straight at the body did the job. This is a great run of points for the Malaysians now. A couple of really short, short rallies since that really important point earlier on. They really have started to capitalise on that. Well, importantly, they've got their service on track as well. 18-10 now. It was 18 that they stalled in the opening game. And in the end, handed the initiative back, but Go is serving well here. He'd be disappointed there. Chen just lifting the shuttle straight off the serve, giving him a free smash. Don't tell me they're doing it again. They still enjoy a six point buffer. Chen with the big smash there, 261. Oh, that's what you like to see when you're at 18. Nice little roll off the tape. Now, would you call that luck, or is that essentially what you're aiming to do every time, just about, when you're in that close to the net? Oh, no, I think there's a bit of luck involved. You're playing it pretty close to the lines and pretty close to the net. And they've set up... Multiple game points now. 20 game point, 12. Chan and Go leading 2012. And there it is. We are all square in the mixed doubles final of the Australian Badminton Open. After Chen and Cheng took the opening game, Chan and Go bounce back, taking the second. 21 points to 12. The third is coming right up. Well, Mark, yesterday, we didn't have a single three-setter on semi-final day on the main court. First one up, and here we are, and you can just feel that that Malaysian pair, they probably let the first game slip. They got that stranglehold on the second and they never let the Chinese Taipei pair back in. Yeah, and they'll probably be pretty disappointed with the fact that they didn't close out that first game. They could have been standing there holding the trophy right now, but at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. And now they've got to move on to the third game. I think the coaching staff will be wanting both players to really focus on, on controlling from the front court and maybe cutting out a few of the cross court shots early in the rally. Let's have a look at some of the highlights of that second game. The work of Go at the net. She has been massively impressive, hasn't she? The Malaysian girl. You see there the Malaysian coaching staff there is uh, Rexy Manaki, former Olympic gold medalist in men's doubles for Indonesia, now coaching Malaysia. A great pickup for the Malaysian team. As you mentioned, it's been a long time since they've had that sort of success that they're enjoying at the moment. Semi-finals at All England, semi-finals at Malaysia, quarter-finals at the Swiss Open, and now a final here at the Yonex Australian Badminton Open. Clearly, the fruits of that labour are being born out here. Sydney is the setting for finals day in the Australian Badminton Open. It's the mixed doubles and we're heading to a decisive third game. After a very tight opening game went the way of Chen and Cheng from Chinese Taipei. It was very much a different story in the second with the Malaysian pair of Chan and Gu. Not giving their rivals even a look in. And for the third game in a row, they've won the opening point. Oh. 
As we spoke about earlier, the first three shots of every rally can be absolutely critical to the way that the, uh, the rally plays out. You can put yourself right on the back foot if you don't get those first three shots right. And it's good attack through the centre again. And the default attack position probably should be back through the centre of the court. And there we see two or three smashes through the centre, winning the point for the Malaysians. Just that hesitation in the defence, and they lead 3-1 in this third and final game. Well, it was the defence and the counter-attack that really opened up the court, splitting the two opposition players on, really pushed them wide out into the centre of the boxes on each side, and, and he put the smash away down through the middle. a tired shot from Cheng that time. She's not happy with herself. When you start this third game, having really been on a roll to finish that first game so strongly as they did the Chinese Taipei pair and win at 22-20 and then get outplayed in the second comprehensively, do you start with that clean slate again in the third? Do you try and put everything that's gone before out of your mind? Yeah, well, I think you have to. I think you have to really focus on what got you there in the in the first game and the, and the key elements. And I think the coaches will be concentrating on a couple of key messages that they need to just alter some decision making and really tighten up again on the serve, the return of serve, the third shot. You know, if you tighten up on those things, you you kind of reduce your unforced error count um, and easy points for your opposition. Once you're in the rally. Anything can happen, but you really want to weed out. That was a shocking serve. But... They get away with it. Good, strong attack from Chan again. He really does have the ability. He gets right up off the ground. It's a fantastic angle. Chinese Taipei pair just rousing a bit of support in the crowd as well as they close back in. Chan and Goat lead 6 4 in the third and final game. back again go I really like to see go try and block that first smash she wields it back up into the air and gives Cheng another go at it you know even if she just blocked it straight she might have another option there but she just throws it back up in the air good net play again She kisses the tape. Seven, five. Looking for a bit of lady luck or good fortune. She was just a little unlucky. She wasn't able to control that cross court. That would have been a great shot. Then cut wheeling back over, didn't it? <laughs> They're firing up now, the Malaysians. I can sense there is a real opportunity here in the early part of this third game. And Go really leading the way. She is, isn't it? A lot of the time it's her that's really making things happen. Just the way she changes the angles a lot. Well, that was very close on the sideline. No chance claiming it was out. Just a little bit more hopeful than anything. We players do tend to see it our way all the time. 
He just apologizes, I think, to uh, the umpire, Jürgen Batnagar. And to Chen as well, his opponent. So just letting his emotions get the better of him for a moment. It's rare to see an overall. We had a couple on semi final day in all five matches. It doesn't happen very often because it's very difficult for the chair umpire to, to make a judgment when the shuttle's moving so fast. That was a little unlucky there. She's been so strong overhead. She's probably a little bit too far behind her. Good serve that time from Chen to tie it up at 8 8. And again, we see how important those first couple of shots in their are become when you throw away easy opportunities like that you're giving you know, an absolute gift to your opponent reduces the pressure on them we are just seeing the tension as well and how tight this is these two they met just in the second week of january this year in the round of 32 at the Malaysian Open. And guess what? It went to three games there as well. 24-22 in the third game to Chan and Gu. It was their first win in three attempts against their Chinese Taipei rivals. And they now trail for the first time in the third game. Oh, that was a shot she's put away five or six winners in this game already. Oh. He was very lucky there. Nine. I think he was hedging his bets moving forward very quickly. And that's what the Taipei players have been mentioning to the umpire, how quickly he was moving forward. He was well deceived by the server. A little bit unlucky there, Chen, but he's quick on that serve. Nine. That was very long, that serve. Chen just asking herself what she was doing there. It was almost right out of the baseline. And the second in a row as well. So from wrestling back the advantage, they've let it go again. Change of ends with Chan and Go leading 11-10 in the third and final game of the mixed doubles final. Well, Mark, this one has been tight throughout and it shows no signs of abating here. One point in it midway through the third it really has been a game of uh, of inches it's been backwards and forwards both pairs winning a couple of points in a row you see some really exciting highlights there was some great jumping from chan and some really powerful play by chan we really do see as well that dominant force in each pairing don't we for the moment it's Chen with the Chinese Taipei pair. It's very much Gu with the Malaysian pair. Bondi Beach and the icebergs. Swimming baths there in the foreground. It really is. The most famous beach in Australia. The surfing and the beach lifestyle that made the country famous. Just giving way this week to the indoor badminton Australian Open. And they're all square again at 11 apiece. And Mark. We've seen that when Go fires, the Malaysian pair do well. But when she just loses her game a little bit, she's only 22. This is a final of a major tournament now, a Grand Prix gold event.
but when she goes off the boil, Chan doesn't really step up and take up the slack, does he? Well, she's such a game, a, a playmaker in that uh, the angles that she's able to produce in defence and attack really helps set Chan up. So if, if she goes a little bit off the boil, it can be very difficult for him. Taipei take it and lead 12-11 now. Longest rally of the match. And Chan did so much work at the back of the court there. You can understand why he'd be looking for every second to get his breath back. He was running all over the place. But it was just the Taipei pair's ability to remain composed and have a little bit more control and a bit more patience, I think, that some of the shots the Malaysians were playing, he was maybe going, Chan was maybe going for a bit too much. He needed to be a bit more conservative. They got that one completely mixed up, but I think that's been overruled. Did look a little bit long. Chen asking very much the question. And it has been overruled by the Australian umpire. 13-11 now. Goes very disappointed with herself. She, she really mishit that easy put away. I think it was her eyes lit up when the shuttle was coming towards her and she knew what she had to do. Just the tension in the moment. A good strong call from Chan there. <laughs> well, the movement, the understanding there between the Malaysian pair. Not on the same wavelength. Just having a bit of an inquisition as well after the point. Great save from Chen. And he was almost on his knees there. Chan overhitting it again. Really barely even made the bottom portion of the net. Just a complete miss hit. This is the biggest lead of the game. <laughs> or was. <laughs> for the Chinese Taipei pair at three points, 15-12. But as is the nature of this one, neither pair can just get away, can they? You can just feel the tension in the air when they're standing there ready to serve. The nerves becoming a bit too much. And there's a strong smash there into the body 14, from Chan. 15. Just a loose push up into the net. And Chan comes up with a cross-court smash. Too hot to handle. And decides to return the favour. Sixteen fourteen as we edge ever closer to the decisive moment. When is it gonna come? Long from Chen. Fifteen sixteen now, Malaysia serving. Now, 
Chan is not happy here. Wants a let call, wants a replay point. Is that the crucial moment? Was he claiming Chen said something there, or...? Oh, I don't know. What, he, what he's carrying on about? I think he should just be concentrating on the play. Well, it's always the point following. It is the crucial one. And that one goes the way of Chinese Taipei. 15. Chan really needed to bring that push back through the centre of the court. Oh, she puts that one away. Very quick to move forward. She set it up beautifully. The Malaysians really need go to fire in this part of the third game. She's pumped up. Didn't she enjoy that as well? Not letting that one get away. It's a one-point game. Go serving at 16-17 in the third. Chen really showing his experience there, making her wait a little bit longer to deliver the serve. And his return was spot on, forcing the error. Oh. Oh, great move by Go. She sensed her partner, Cham, was committed to the forehand side of the court. She just drifted back. 17, 18. This showed great vision here after this smash. She knew she had to get it, and she did. See, he's caught out of position, but she's covering for him, and she's fired up over that one. And the Malaysian coaching staff are up out of their chairs as well. They enjoyed that. It's all square at 18-18 in the decider. Ching going through the same routine as before. <coughs> Making his opponent wait. <laughs> the third time of asking from Ching, 19-18. See how the serve goes here. Oh. Yeah. Match point, tournament point for the Chinese Taipei pair. With Chen Hung Ling and Chen Wen Xing. Serve. She was must have been so nervous. That serve was about 19, a foot above the net. 20. 19 20. Championship point again, and the pressure now on Gu, who's played so well. She needs to take a couple of deep breaths here and really relax those hands.
come up with it too. She was under so much pressure in that point. You can just see the emotions on her face. Rapid fire play at the net. Oh, and she's pumped up. That's what the crowd's come to see. Serving now to put the pressure back on the other half of the court. <laughs> they have it though. You can cut the tension here at the Sydney Exhibition of Convention Centre. It is palpable. What was the score in the third game last time they played? 24-22. Oh, we're nearly there. It was in favour of the Malaysian pair as well. There's just nothing to separate these two. What's he going to do here? Oh, oh, she's done it again. 21. 21. Neither side, neither pairing, backing down an inch here. For Fighting to, for every point for the championship, aren't they? They're just not going to leave anything out there. We've ticked over an hour now, 61 minutes on the clock. Changed that last time. Just didn't have the internal fortitude to serve up a short serve. He lost the point last time doing exactly the same 21. thing. And it's a third championship point for Chen and Cheng of Chinese Taipei. for Chinese Taipei over the quality and the enthusiasm of a Malaysian pair perhaps to keep an eye on for the future in Yu Yingu and Peng Sung Chan it's Match over one by in Chen three Hong games 22-20 12 21 23-21 21. Thank in you. 62 minutes. And I guess when it goes that long to three sets and decided 23-21 in the third, it's hard to say really the better team, the better pair won just because it was that tight, wasn't it? Well, it was just uh, a game of a, a classic match of mixed doubles where you could never really tell right up until the last point how it was going to turn out critical moments in the game probably the serve really for me uh chan just losing his confidence to serve to cheng and he really needed to do that in those couple of crucial points there at the end where he lifted the serve and gave the uh, momentum to the opposition straight off the bat so he'd be very disappointed with that but an entertaining match and the crowd loved it and that's what international badminton's all about well, it was an absolute thriller let's have a look at the highlights and just the emotion as that got towards the end. It's really hard to say where it was won and lost, and it would be a shame to pick it out on Chan for that serve at 21 apiece in the third game. But really, when it's down to that finer details, you'd have to say it's the experience that just shows through in the end. Yeah, and I think I think you saw there the Chinese Taipei players just taking a little bit of extra time in between the points. When it was a crucial point, they made the Malaysians wait a little bit longer, and that that when you've got a bit of momentum can be really frustrating too. So uh, you know that could have been the difference. That bit of bit of experience to know when to slow things down that made all the difference in the end. Well, there you see the final scorecard: 21-21.
23-21 in the third. They won their two games above and beyond the regular 21. And now it's time for the presentation of the 2012 Yonix Australian Badminton Open. The first trophies being handed out and first up onto the podium. Are the runners up today, gallant runners up at that, aren't they? From Malaysia, Peng Sun Chan and Yu Ying Gu. It's good to see she's all smiles being presented by Nori Shimojo of Yonex Japan. And the winners are Grinners, of course, and you'd have to say, perhaps over the course of the entire week, in the quarterfinals, they overcame Robert Matusiak and Nadizda Ziba of Poland, then the Japanese pair of Hayakawa and Matsutomo. And now they have their names on the trophies of the Mixed Doubles 2012 Australian Badminton Open champions from Chinese Taipei, Chen Hongling and Cheng Wen Sing. Well, that's how they won it in the end. Just over an hour for victory. More coming up from Darling Harbour.